Hi everyone, MJ Mack here, and as I start preparing for book five, I thought I would take a little time to tell you how I create characters. So you need to think about a character like an apple, and there are three parts, the skin, the flesh, and the core. This month I'm going to talk about the skin, the things that are on the outside of the character. And one of those things is the character's motivation. The characters in a book need a reason to tell their part of the story. So let's take Cinderella. We all are familiar with the story, but let's go a little bit further and look at the goals and the motivations. Cinderella dreams of a new life. The stepsisters want to marry the prince. The stepmother wants to have her daughters married off and to keep Cinderella around as the hired help. The fairy godmother wants to create a magical night for Cinderella. Although the prince isn't really interested in getting married, he has to do what his parents tell him to do. And the mice, well, the mice are being tormented by a cat and they want the heck out of Dodge. So now that we've established the motivation and the goals, we have to go a step further. And just like asking your spouse or your teenager how their day was, you have to go deeper. You have to ask the who, what, when, where, why, and how far. What kind of life does Cinderella want? Is she thinking housefrau, rock star, author, nun, fireman? What will happen if one of the stepsisters marries the prince? Because only one can marry him. So what's the fallout gonna be for the other? How far will the stepmother go to conceal Cinderella's identity? And why didn't she get in trouble for locking her away? What does this fairy godmother get out of helping Cinderella? Is it altruistic or is there some other reason? What happens if they don't find anyone to fit the slipper? Will the prince continue being a bachelor or will he eventually find the runner up? And lastly, what will happen to the mice? They need to get out of the house. They're being tormented by a cat that wants to eat, but they're Cinderella's friends. These are just some of the questions that keep your favorite author up as she prepares for book five. That's all for today. Next month, we'll talk about how I play Mr. Potato Head, making characters. Bye.